Hey, I'm Ben. This is my Prius V mobile lab, and I'm using it to learn everything I can about mass. Now, I've already looked at solids and I've looked at liquids, so it's time for something even more complicated, gases. A gas assumes the shape of its container, just like a liquid, but a gas can also assume the volume of its container. Unlike the particles in liquids and solids, the particles in gas have a lot of free space between them, and this means that while a gas can flow like a liquid, it's also compressible. Here's a can of compressed gas. It contains about eight ounces. But as soon as I let it out, it immediately begins to assume the shape of the room. The space between gas particles can be large or small, and this means that I can fit a lot of gas into the Prius V. But how much exactly? Here's where my lungs come in. The average person exhales about two gallons of carbon dioxide over the course of an hour. This means that to fill up one cubic foot, it would take one person four hours. To fill up all 67.3 cubic feet of the Prius V, it would take one person days. Let's try air. How much compressed air could I fit into my Prius V? That sort of depends on the size of the container. See, the average scuba tank can have anywhere from 10 to 200 cubic feet of air inside of it. So depending on the size of the container, I could fill this car with enough compressed air to explore the Great Barrier Reef. I've figured out how much gas I can fit into my car. As we've already discovered, we can get quite a few liquids and solids into the Prius V, and there's only one thing left, plasma. Check out the next episode.